Hello you guys, uh, today we're doing an OP last on a ML and uh, it's a 350 and the year for that is 08, 608. Um, so first we're gonna try to do it uh, just on the regular way. So we went to smart selection and we're gonna try to do all key lost. So it's a W164. The thing is that sometimes uh, nine and up, you can do it OBD. So we're not gonna need to pull the box out. So as you can see, the all key loss type is not supported for this. So we're gonna try to do it in this way. So as you can see guys on this one, we're gonna need to pull the ignition out. Um, we will not be able to do it like that. So we're gonna take the ignition out. So in order to move this box, so basically we took the bottom panel out and then two screws and then we just slide that thing out. So we have access to this. After we roll that thing out, sorry I didn't let you guys see it. It's just a little bit too hot here. And now when we have this, we're gonna take it to our car and we're gonna complete the job. So after the, taking the ignition out, we're gonna have the G-Box pulled out and we're gonna go and gonna hit on bench. And we're gonna hit this one because we know it's already here. And then we're gonna need to uh, put the connection in. So we're gonna use the G-Box, we're just gonna connect it. And we're just gonna hit OK on that so we can see the diagrams. So basically, you guys are going to see the connections right here, this and this. And you're gonna need to do the same uh, connections as it shows you here with the DB15 cable that will be connected to here. So we're just gonna get it connected. Okay, so we have connected all the right uh, uh, probes to the right uh, locations and then we're gonna hit OK. Uh, just make sure the OBD uh, connected to here and the G-Box and the emulator right inside. And we're just gonna hit begin. So we're just gonna hit OK. We're just going to hit OK. Now it's going to connect to the network. And now it wants us to take this out and put it back in. So we just took this emulator out and we put it back in. And now we're gonna need to put it again and again, but uh, we're just gonna choose the fast. So we're gonna go out of this. And we're gonna load it again. So again, we're on the bench, we're gonna go the smart selection. So we have the ignition pulled out. We're just gonna go all key lost fast on bench G box. And we can do auto scan because again, we are connected already. So we're just gonna hit okay. We're gonna hit okay. And we're gonna hit okay. So we're just gonna put a blank key. So we don't have a password, we're just gonna hit no, we're gonna hit okay, and we're gonna hit begin. So we're just gonna hit okay, and then we're gonna hit okay, and then we're gonna hit okay, and we're gonna need to take the this one in and out. So it tells us to take it out, so we're just going to take it out, we're going to put it back in 
and we're going to turn it to on position. And we're going to need to hold it like that. So we're just going to put something heavy to hold it like that on it. So basically it needs to be hold uh, on the turning position. I'm just going to try to find something heavy to lay on it so it can stay but it can take time. So you're just going to need to wait. So we're going to get back when we have the passwords for you guys. So we got it to stand, we just put something over it to leave it uh, standing and then I just put this with the weight, it just keeps it on the on position. So already we consumed five minutes. Um, those are all depends, it can take fa it can be fast, it can take longer. So we're just gonna see how long it takes and we're gonna be with you as soon as we're done. So after about 10 minutes or so, we can see we got the password, so we can take that thing out and this thing away. And then we're just gonna hit okay on that. Of course, you guys memorize that, take a picture. And then we're gonna hit okay. Okay. And now it's gonna generate the key file for us. And then we're going to be able to write the blank key. So now it tells us to put the blank key. We already have it. Detecting the key. We can already take those things out, but you guys take it just very gently. You don't want to rip anything apart, so you can use it the next time. So now it's going to be writing the key. And after pressing OK, so all key lost is done, we're just going to take this off, put it back in the car, and we're going to see if it works. So we are in the car, we just plugged it here, we're going to put it here soon, but we're just going to check if it works. So for now the key is not working, we're going to put it in. And as you can see, dash comes on. And car started right away. So again, I'm going to show you how we took this out. And the remote as well working. So now we're going to just going to fish it back into its place. So we fished it back into place. Now we're just going to close the ring above it. So this part we took out after we slide those two things lower and then you just slide it from the back upwards. But there was two screws that was holding it right here. So we're going to put them back. So after placing those two screws, that thing just going to slide above. Okay, so to put it back we just clamp it first the top. And then you clamp the bottom in. But basically taking this part out and then two screws and then this one slides in and then you're gonna have a path. So thank you guys for watching. This is how you're gonna do all key lost for an 08 uh, ML350. Um, if it's 09, there is no need to do the removal. But if it's 08, this is how it's being done. Thank you guys for watching, have a great day.